Hey everyone, in my previous tutorials I showed you how to bring your ideas to life by creating some amazing AI generated images. Now, it's time to take things up a notch. Are you ready to turn your AI art into stunning eye-catching animations? In this video, I am going to guide you step by step on how to animate those AI masterpieces and make them come alive. Stick with me till the end, because I will be sharing some insider tips on mastering AI animation that you definitely don't want to miss. Let's dive in. Let's jump into the Kling AI website. First, to create an account or log in, head to the sign in button in the top right corner. If you are new here, just click on the sign up for free link. Once you have created an account, you will get 66 free tokens to explore the site's services, which recharge every 24 hours. How cool is that? Now, Let's animate some AI-generated images and turn them into videos or animations. To get started, click on the AI Videos option. On the right side, you will see a list of your previous works generated by this AI. On the left, there are two options, text to video and image to video. We will go with image to video. In this section, you will find the image and prompt panel. With the select from history option, you can pick any image you have already created using Kling AI and start animating it. But if you want to use a personal image or one created by another AI, no worries. Just use the click, drop or paste option to upload your image. Once uploaded, you will see a thumbnail of your image and there's even a delete icon in case you need to swap it out. Next, in the prompt section, you can type in your ideas to bring the image to life through animation. At the top left, there's a drop-down menu where you can choose the version of Kling AI. Right now, versions 1 and 1.5 are available. Just a heads up, version 1.5 is only for paid plans, so if you're on the free plan and select it, the options will be inactive. For animating images on Kling AI, you have got two fun tools to work with, prompts and the motion brush. Let's get creative. In the prompt panel, you can get creative and type out your ideas for animating your image. Kling AI will work its magic based on the details you provide, so the more thoughtful and specific you are, the better the results. It's important to give the AI as much clear information as possible for it to understand exactly what you want. I have already written my idea, so I will just paste it here. For this example, I uploaded an image of Dwayne Johnson and focused on highlighting his smile and adding camera movement in my prompt. I am excited to see if the animation captures what I have described. Now there's another tool I want to mention briefly, the motion brush feature, which I will dive into in a future tutorial. But here's a quick overview. It allows you to select parts of the image you want to animate by simply brushing over them. You can adjust the brush size, and if you make a mistake, there's an eraser to clean things up. After selecting the areas, you can define the movement path with the track option. However, for animating a still image like this one, the motion brush won't be necessary right now. A bit further down, in the settings panel, there's a slider that lets you balance between creativity and relevance in the animation. For this project, I will leave it as is. In the mode section, there's standard mode, which is free and gives faster results, while professional mode available in the premium plan offers better visual quality. In the length section, you can set the video length between 5 and 10 seconds. But keep in mind that the 10 second option is only available in the premium plan. Also in the number of generations section, you can decide how many videos will be generated at once. Lastly, there's a camera movement option, but it's inactive in the free plan. Once everything is set, I will click on generate, which will deduct 10 tokens from my balance. My request will be queued, and after a short wait assuming no bugs or issues, my image will be turned into an animation. Now that the video is ready, I will hit play and see how it turned out. As expected, the animation perfectly reflects the prompt I provided. Dwayne Johnson is smiling, just like I mentioned. If you want to delete the image or video, hover over the three dot icon in the bottom right corner of the video frame to find the delete option. You will also find a download button just below the video, allowing you to save your animated creation to your device for free. Just a quick heads up, with a free account, the videos you generate will have a watermark. If you want to download them without the watermark, you will need to upgrade to the premium plan. And hey, if you are not totally satisfied with the results, don't worry. 
Just keep experimenting with different prompts and settings. With enough tweaking, you will eventually create something amazing. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to smash that like button and show your support. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. This tutorial is just a tiny drop in the ocean of content I am uploading to this channel. If you are passionate about AI, you have come to the right place. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Trust me, AI is the future, so let's embrace it today. I will see you in the next tutorial.